If you're struggling to pay your mortgage, you need someone to help, not cause more harm. Unfortunately, homeowners who are experiencing financial hardship and have fallen behind on their mortgage payments are common targets for scams, especially in times of economic uncertainty. Let's look at some common mortgage relief scams, red flags to watch out for, ways to protect yourself, and resources that can help you. While there are many reputable mortgage relief services, there are also many individuals attempting to cheat desperate homeowners out of their money or home by making false promises of financial relief. Mortgage relief scams come in a few common forms. Fraudulent counseling services may promise to negotiate with your lender on your behalf, but may charge you upfront fees or pocket your mortgage payments for themselves. Companies may offer fake audits to review your mortgage documents for potential issues, claiming this will help you work out a deal with your lender. They often charge an upfront fee, but don't deliver on their promise. There are also We Buy Homes and Rent to Buy scams. They may promise help if you sign over the property's deed. They may offer to let you rent the house or buy it back later, but you'll still be on the hook for your mortgage. Or a scammer may offer you a rescue loan to avoid foreclosure, but it may be a ruse to get you to transfer ownership to them. If someone offers you mortgage relief help, watch out for red flags. Stay away from companies that want upfront fees for their help. This is illegal. And be wary of any business that requests payment by cashier's check, wire transfer, or gift cards, which are harder to trace. Also, don't trust so-called foreclosure services that tell you to only communicate with them and not with your lender. And don't believe companies that make big promises, like guaranteeing your lender will agree to modify your loan or that your credit score will not change. To protect yourself, you should keep making your mortgage payments as directed by your lender or mortgage servicer. Don't send them to anyone else. Also, get specifics about the cost and nature of a company's services and get everything in writing. Don't sign documents you don't fully understand. A legitimate organization won't rush you. And don't transfer your deed to someone else without consulting a trusted attorney or housing counselor. Be aware that scammers may pose as government employees by communicating with official looking letters, emails, and even phone calls with fake caller ID information. If you receive unsolicited communications like these, don't respond. Contact the organization directly. You can also check the reputations of businesses through the Better Business Bureau and look up lawyers with your state's bar association. If you're struggling to pay your mortgage, real help is available, but you need to act now. Contact your lender or mortgage servicer to discuss your options or explore government assistance programs and get no-cost support from an approved housing counselor. If you've been targeted by a mortgage relief scam, file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission or your state's attorney general. Remember these tips so if a scammer comes knocking, you won't let them in.